Oh, y'all thought the haircuts were just for show. No, ma'am. Hey, ewa salame, baba glow papier, ewa salame, zinzal bim, ewa salame, hey, hey. Hi guys, my name is Indigo and welcome to my channel. Today I am finally going to be doing something that was very highly requested in my earlier videos, and that is to paint someone on my face. Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> now, I actually have done quite a lot of these before. However, I had never filmed a tutorial on it just because it is so lengthy and it takes so long and... <sighs> Basically, this takes like eight hours to do. I'm fully prepared to be here at least until 2 a.m. It is 8 p.m. right now. It's also been a fat minute since I've actually painted somebody on my face. More specifically, September of last year. So, mm -hmm. But I definitely like to think that my skills have improved. So let's see if I can, one, do this, and two, do it fast. And to make this challenge even harder for myself, I'm going to be recreating one of the ones that I already did. More specifically, the silly eyelash look that that I did way back when. So enough talking, let's get started. So the first thing that I would do when I would do these looks before is I would find the exact picture that I want on my face, preferably on my computer, and I would shrink it down to the size that I want it to be on my face. And then once I have that done, I'm going to get a clear sheet of plastic, and I'm gonna use clown white to essentially trace the shape of that image onto this sheet of paper. And what this essentially does is that it traces the exact, well not exact, but it traces the image to your face so that way you have a good template to build off from. Is that cheating? Honestly, that is up to interpretation because at the end of the day, no shade, it still exists in person and a lot of people do this with Photoshop. Ooh. So, who's really cheating there? <laughs> Anyways, let's get started. <laughs> okay, so as you can see, I have it plastered on my face now. I highly recommend using something that is heat transferable. So with the heat of your hands and your cheek, it'll just basically melt the image right onto your face. After this, you treat everything else like a drawing on a piece of paper, which means that logic would tell you to start with your skin, but I like starting with the hair because I find the hair process so therapeutic, so that is what I'm gonna be doing first. And I'm gonna regret it, but it's fine. Ugh, okay, honestly, no, let me not do this to myself. All right, we're starting with the skin. So obviously when you're painting the skin, you definitely wanna use a skin tone that is either very much darker or very much lighter than your skin tone. So with the skin, I'm gonna follow the same idea that I did with the stencil and I'm going to be using basically the same consistency of cream paints. I'm gonna be using the shade Linen for the base of the skin tone. And when you're painting this type of stuff, it's really, really good to have that reference right next to you and always looking at it so you can get the most accurate representation as possible. So if you see me looking down a lot, that's exactly what I'm doing. And honestly, you just wanna grab a lot and just make sure that your brush is just coated in this stuff. If you guys are wondering why I'm puffing out my cheek like it's because it applies a lot of pressure to the surface of my cheek. Whereas if I were just painting it like this, the paintbrush has a lot of grip to the skin and I don't like that because that means that it's not in my control. And this is definitely one instance where you need like total absolute control. All right, now that I have that done, I'm going to start adding some powders to the skin. Now take your damn time with this step because this is definitely the most tedious part but it's also what gets you the best results. And for this I like to use a very little dense brush and I'm going to go in with the shade Cake and I'm just going to do that wherever I see a shadow. I'm doing this only where I see very rosy tones on her skin. And then I'm gonna go in with the darker shade Tasty, and I'm going to focus that in areas where I see very dark shadows. Not the darkest, but dark enough. And then next I'm gonna do the actual dark shadows with the black shadow from the Alien palette. I got carried away 
And I'm starting to do the hair. <laughs> Don't hate me. Hair is really easy to make. A lot of people stress this out for no reason. All you gotta do, and this goes with a pencil as well, by the way. You just do gentle up and down strokes and you focus it a little bit more on areas that you wanna shade and there's your hair. That's literally it. It's not that big of a deal. Oof, her fingers are like, uh, not it. I'll fix those in a bit. <laughs> I'm just dotting the eyebrows on because I don't even trust myself with my own eyebrows. Just kidding, look how beautiful they look today. Thank you. And then I'm gonna do her lips and I'm gonna be using the Bone Home shade, which is kind of like this mauve kind of color, but it's gonna make sense on her. Trust. Now, if you think she's looking a little too dark, you are absolutely right. Do not worry, because we are about to start brightening things up. I'm gonna go back in once again with the Mehron Cream Paint. And in the same that I would brighten my skin with the Dragon Beauty Transformation Palette, I will be doing the same thing with my character. And I'm going to be using a little lip brush for this because obviously I'm not going to use like a dense packing brush for this. And I'm just gonna apply that to all the high points on the face. With such a tiny image, the more intense, the better. Alrighty, and now I'm gonna do the green part of her hair. And for that, I'll be using my Mehron Lime Green. Oh, there's some black on this, isn't there? Yeah. This is the last thing besides her eyes before we start blacking everything out, so... And then next, I'm going to do the eyes. I'm just gonna do the lightest little dot of blue on both of her eyes. I'm so nervous. And I'm gonna start blacking everything else out with the black paradise paint. This is where you can start adding dimension to the hair. I like to focus this more towards the ends of the hair. Now I'm gonna do the outfit. I'm gonna try and make this as jet black as possible. Now, I'm going to do the scary part, which is drawing her eyes. I'm going to be using the NYX Epic Ink Liner. I am terrified for this step, but I'm going to zoom you guys in a lot so you guys can have a full view of me and my mistakes that are inevitable. Alrighty, so I think that is it. I'm just gonna go ahead and do some final touches off of camera and I'll be right back. Alrighty guys, and this is the final look. Overall, I am pretty happy with how it turned out. It definitely is a lot more stylized than my original version of Billy, And I kind of wish it looked a little bit more like Billy, like the old one did, but at the same time, the technique in this definitely improved a lot compared to the original. So, so yeah, that is exactly how I draw humans on my face. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like my art, if you guys like my energy, please like, comment, and subscribe, and follow me on my Instagram down below if you don't already. And thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the future. Bye-bye. Cue the montage.